Hi, I'm Kinga from myhobbiescrochet.com. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the bag's head. This head comes in women's size. It features a pretty knit look texture and a shaped top made with the help of the short rows. You can find the written instructions on myhobbiescrochet.com. Please see the link in the description box below this video. The head will be worked from side to side in rows with the brim and the top crown part made all at the same time. I am using Red Hot Soft Yarn, a 4 Aran Yarn, a 5.5 mm crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors. Now let's get started. Leaving a long tail, start with a slip knot and chain 39. The first row will be worked into the back bumps behind each chain across, not counting the loop on the hook. Skip the first chain and work a yarn over slip stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, yarn over, draw through the chain. You have three loops on the hook. Pull the first loop on the hook to the next two loops on the hook to complete a yarn over slip stitch and again yarn over insert the hook into the next chain yarn over draw through pull the first loop on the hook through the next two loops on the hook continue this way across the row with a yarn over slip stitch At the end of the row you'll have 38 stitches. For row 2, chain 1 and turn. This row we will work into the back loops only. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the first stitch. Yarn over slip stitch into the next stitch using the back loop only. And yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each stitch to last stitch. At the last stitch you will insert the hook under the both top loops. This will create a pretty edge. For row 3, chain 1 and turn. We are going to work yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each of the next 7 stitches. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These 7 stitches will form the brim. Over the next 2 stitches work 1 back cross double crochet. Skip the first stitch, work double crochet into the next stitch using the boat loops. Now go back into the skipped stitch and work one double crochet going behind the double crochet just made. And this is one back cross double crochet. And again skip the next stitch, work one double crochet into the next one. Go back into the skipped stitch and work one double crochet going behind the double crochet just made. This is the second back cross double crochet. Continue working back cross double crochet stitches until you have 11 back cross double crochet total. And this was the third one. And the last back cross double crochet stitch. So 
I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 backwards double crochet stitches total. Now we are working back cross half double crochet over the next two stitches. Skip the next stitch, work one half double crochet into the next stitch. Go back into the skip it stitch and work one half double crochet into the skip it stitch going behind the half double crochet just made. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each of the next two stitches. One and two. Leave the last five stitches at the end of the row unworked. We just made a short row. For row four, you will chain one and turn. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the first stitch. Yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the next stitch. And yarn over slip stitch back loop only to last stitch. At the last stitch, insert a hook under both top loops. You should have 33 stitches. For row 5, chain 1 and turn. Row 5 will be worked with the yarn over slip stitch back loop only into each stitch across the short row. At the end of the short row you will work a decrease, then continue working over the 5 stitches left unworked 2 rows below. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the first stitch. Yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the next one. Continue this way and I will meet you at the end of the short row. And the last stitch, stitch 33 of the short row. Now you are continuing working over the 5 stitches left unworked 2 rows below. But first we will make a decrease stitch. Yarn over and insert a hook into the vertical bar of the last stitch one row below, right here. Now insert a hook into the back loop of the first stitch from the 5 stitches left unworked 2 rows below, right here. So here are the 5 stitches. Insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch. You have 4 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all 4 loops on the hook to complete the decrease. This short row decrease will prevent holes at the end of the short rows. You have 4 stitches left. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each of them. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The edge with the short rows will form the top of the head. So you will not have a bulky top but a shaped top with the help of the short rows. At the end of row 5 you should have 38 stitches again. For row 6, chain 1 and turn. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only into the first stitch. And yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each stitch to last stitch. Two, three, and thirty seven. Work the last stitch with yarn over slip stitch, inserting the hook under both loops. You should have 38 stitches. So this part will form the brim. 
and the part with the short rows will form the top of the head. For next row you will chain one. From now on you will only need to repeat from row three to row six. This is how my piece looks like after finishing row 63. I have made 15 rows with the back rust stitches. Now we are working the last row together, row 64 on the wrong side. For this chain one and turn. Work yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each of the next seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now work 11 back cross double crochet stitches over the next 22 stitches. Now this is the first back rust double crochet. Work 10 more. The second one and the last one. So I have made 11 back cross double crochet stitches. Now we are working one back cross half double crochet over the next two stitches. Now work yarn over slip stitch back loop only in each of the next two stitches. One and two. We have five stitches left. You will work slip stitch back loop only in each of the last five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. You will cut the yarn and finish off leaving a long tail. Now we are going to sew the first and the last row together. For this fold over the short ends of the piece, thread a yarn needle with a yarn tail. You will insert the needle through the first stitch on one edge and the corresponding stitch on the other edge, this way. Now come back through the next stitch on that edge and the corresponding stitch on the other edge. Continue this way back and forth through each stitch on one side and the corresponding stitch on the other side until you reach the bottom edge. And this is how you sew an invisible joining. The next step is to cinch the top together. So with the long strand of yarn you left at the beginning of the work, you will wave the yarn in and out into the stitches along the top edge. So I'm going through the ridges only. I'm continuing this way until I reach the first stitch again. Now pull the yarn tight and cinch together to close the space. This was still the right side, I am going on the wrong side. 
and I will insert in and out a few times more to secure. Now you will fasten off and weave in all the ends. And this is how the top of the head looks on the right side. This is how you crochet the back's head. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.